चलो हेलो चिल्ड्रेन गुड इवनिंग टू यू ऑल How are you doing? Children, are you all there? Good evening to you all, children. So, did you sleep in the afternoon today? Yes. Did you sleep in the afternoon today? Yes or no? If it is yes, say like this. If it is no, say like this. Yes. You slept in the afternoon today. Now, since this is summer, I want you all to sleep in the afternoon. Okay, children. Okay. Say yes. Very good. Now, so children, now can you tell me which day is today? Today is Friday. Today is Friday, and tomorrow will be. tomorrow will be saturday tomorrow will be saturday and yesterday was yesterday was thursday so children now can you tell me how many days are there in a week and what are they there are 7 days in a week so children now come on count and open your seven little fingers start 1 Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So seven. There are seven days in a week, and they are. Start along with me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, the days of the week. Okay, children. These are all the days of the week. What are these? The days of the week. So we have seven days in a week. All right, children. Now, can you tell me how many months are there in a year and what are they? There are twelve months in a year, and they are ten. Show me your ten fingers. Once count if there you. How many fingers do you have, children? How many fingers do you have? Show me your fingers now. Here are your fingers. How many fingers do you have? We have ten fingers. Shall we count once? Yes. Come on, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten, so there are ten fingers. And how many months are there in a year? There are twelve months in a year. Ten and two, total twelve months in a year. All right, children, come on, start. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. September, October, November, and December. So total there are ten and two, twelve months in a year. All right, children. Fine, very good. Now, children, can you all tell me in which month we are in right now? Right now we are in March month. March, March. January, February, March. Yes, here it is. The third month of the year. January is over. February is over, and this is the March month. Right now, we are in March month. All right, children. Fine. So today, I would. I got some colors for you. Color tablets. What are we going to do with these color tablets, children? now i will show you the color and i want you to tell me which color is this one and i also want you to tell me one thing around us 
which is in this particular shape okay children so shall we start it all right come on <coughs> excuse me come start so children can you tell me which color is this one can you tell me which color is here here this is blue color this is blue color can you tell me something around you which is blue in color children you should tell me something around you which is blue in color then i will draw that for you can you tell me something around you which is blue in color sky is blue in color very good preet see here i'm drawing sky for you this is how the sky is looking like right just blue in color all around and ocean water is blue in color you forgot these are the waves here so blue color we see water and sky in blue color okay rain <laughs> rain water of course we can't see any color but okay fine right children now can you tell me which color is here it's green color which color is this children it's green color yes very good so this is green now can you tell me something around you which is green in color what do you think will be in green color children green 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 very good leaves are green in color this is a leaf which is green in color trees are green in color very good children you should remember all the colors and the things around you which are in that particular color okay see trees are green in color grapes are green in color very good grapes are green in color and what else ladies finger peas are also green in color very good this is the ladies finger very good children these are all green in color okay fine very good now next color will be what here you go which color is this one children you have to say which color is this it's yellow very good yellow color can you tell me something around you which yellow in color children tell me something around you which are there in yellow color lemon very good lemon is yellow in color mango is yellow in color very good now this is mango season and did you see here the mango this is yellow in color this is a mango which is yellow in color you should also identify things around you which are there in that particular color children okay not just learning the colors you also should know the things which are in that particular color around you okay marigold flower is yellow in color very good you give so many nice like school bus or van is also yellow in color
this is marigold yellow in color very good children so these are examples of yellow color and can you tell me which color is here children now come on look here which color is this this is red color which color is this it's red very good now can you tell me something which is red in color you all are very well aware of it none other than your apple apple is red in color i want you all to learn drawing small small things like this apple mango Mm, clouds uh, you should be able to draw all these things okay children tomato is red in color strawberry is also red in color strawberry is red in color yes children very good watermelon yes very good inside watermelon is red in color so children these are few things around us which are red in color okay and can you tell me now which color is this one which color is this children it's black color which color is this it's black very good can you tell me few things around you which are black in color black few things around you which are black in color hair is black in color very good hair is black in color how do i draw hair now <laughs> okay hair is black in color children you have to try and say some things which are eyebrows and eyes inside it is black in color and is there anything else clouds we can say sometimes very good children so these are the things which are black in color around us all right blackboard is black in color yes children blackboard is black in color this is a blackboard okay you should learn the colors and you also should be able to say few examples for each color children that is very important okay all right now come on let's let's come up with a new color which color is which color is this orange orange can you tell me something which is orange in color children orange orange is orange in color very good orange itself is orange in color and what else do we have in orange color okay fine one orange example is enough and let's see something else You can give mom. Inside, you can give. She'll take. Which color is this? It's brown. It's brown color. Can you tell me something around you which is brown in color? Puppy. Carrot is yes. Orange. In color. children you all should learn to draw drawing is very important okay children you should learn to draw 
Okay, drawing is very important. Chocolate is brown in color. Yes, I showed you brown color, no children. Your favorite item, chocolate, is brown in color. Monkey is brown in color. Very good. Tree, yes, branches are brown in color. Tree, trunk and branches are also brown in color. Okay, children, you should think and recollect and remember all these things. Okay. Brown color. Kiwi fruit are from outside. It is brown color. Yes, very good. One brown fruit from outside. It is brown and from inside, kiwi is green. Okay. Okay, children. So, these are all the examples of different colors we have. <coughs> now, quickly, I will show you the colors and I want you to quickly tell the names of different colors. Okay, children. Come on, everybody. Which color? You should not take much time. Yes, chiku is also brown in color. Which color is this one? Light green. Light green. Come on, children. Tell me the color. Which color is this one? Yellow. It's red color. Pink. Lavender, blue, yellow, orange, green, brown. White, blue, black, brown, orange, gray, gray color. This is gray color. This is black color. And here this is white color. If you mix these two colors, we get this color. Do you know that? White and black, if we mix, we get gray color. And here this is red color. So these are the different colors. And I want you all to learn the names of the color along with one example. All right, children. Can you tell me something which is white in color? One example. So you should be able to say egg. Egg is white in color. Egg is white in color. All right, children. Okay. Now, I would like to tell you about some important concepts today, children. Okay. I was making this for you and that is the reason it was a bit late for me today. So children, have you ever seen this animal any time? Tell me. Have you ever seen this animal any time? No, this is not an elephant. Do you think elephant have such a big tusk like this? No, this is not an elephant. This is called mammoot. Mammoot is an extinct animal. This, this is not elephant. This is called mammoot. Mammoot is an extinct animal. It spells M-A-M-O-O-T-H. M-A-M-O-O-T-H. Mammoot. Mammoot is an 
extinct animal what are extinct animals children extinct animals are those animals which are there a while ago but now they are no more existing they were not there they were all done they are extinct some thousands of years ago we have extinct animals and here this is mammoth mammoth is, looks like an elephant but this is not an elephant mammoth has woolly skin like this did you see this children woolly hair woolly hair like this we see this mostly in the himalayan region we see this mostly in the himalayan region and did you see the tusk of a mammoth how big and long it is the tusk of this mammoth is so long like this this extinct animal we call it as mammoth mammoths are there a while ago but which are not there now anymore okay i said movie mammoth yes true so that's a mammoth there and we also have another extinct bird that is nothing but a dodo bird what is that children it's a dodo bird okay and there is also another extinct very famous animal any guesses children can anyone guess what uh, which animal is that which is extinct any guesses here you go it's a dinosaur 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 mammoth is an extinct animal dodo bird is another extinct bird see here it is the dodo bird which bird is this one it's the dodo bird we call it the dodo bird this bird is also extinct what is the meaning of extinct animals animals which are no more existing in the nature they used to be there a while ago but they are not there anymore now we cannot see these animals in nature because they are extinct we call it dodo bird what is this children come on repeat it after me we call it dodo bird dodo bird you should know the extinct animals okay you should also know about the extinct animals this is how a dodo bird looks like children see observe it from a very closer point of view this is how a dodo bird looks like this okay this is a dodo bird and this is a mammoth these two are the extinct animals what are these children extinct animals extinct animals extinct animals these are the extinct animals these animals used to be there ages ago and now they are no more this is called mammoth and this is dodo bird these are the extinct animals they were not there anymore okay children you should remember what are the extinct animals and you also should tell the names of the extinct animals okay these two are the extinct animals and along with this we have another extinct animal here which is a dinosaur dinosaur is another extinct animal dinosaurs used to be there really some thousand million years ago but now there are no dinosaurs do you know children dinosaurs are really very huge creatures which lived on earth and if they are there we wouldn't have lived now they would have eaten us all up by now so dinosaurs are not there now anymore so today we are going to draw a dinosaur shall we all draw a dinosaur together i will show it to you you can follow my instructions and draw a dinosaur very easily okay so come on everybody take a white paper and get one crayon okay children i will teach you how to draw an easy dinosaur i think you all watch peppa pig isn't it children yes i know you all watch peppa pig now in peppa pig george is having a dinosaur isn't it yes 
and that dinosaur is here and i am going to show you how to draw this dinosaur today okay come on let's all start drawing a dinosaur now first step is take any crayon take a green one okay you have to draw a yes first you know how to write yes right come on once write down yes in the air like this like this in peppa pig george is having a dinosaur haven't you seen that would you like to draw that dinosaur dinosaur is an extinct animal okay come on start ta da just draw it yes like this it can be of any shape no problem children okay you just have to draw s like this over this is the first step second is you just have to give a curve like this in them like this and like this just just a v shape there all right children and look at this one here that's it you just have to draw another yes and join this over here now you just have to draw some eyes to the dinosaur eyes like this some teeth like this and you can draw all triangles on top of it like this children okay and now we are going to draw hands do you remember in peppa pig this dinosaur was there in the peppa pig right with george george's favorite toy is this dinosaur that's it here you go your dinosaur is ready okay very easy dinosaur and i want you all to color this dinosaur nicely with an yellow color sorry with a green color crayon like this green color green color where are you here i am here i am how do you do dinosaur dinosaur where are you here i am here i am how do you do green let's draw the eyes of the dinosaur with black color children look at this one here you go this is dinosaur did you like it once show me your drawing children once you are done show it to me this one we did in the class so children dinosaur is an extinct animal just two ss you have to draw and join put a v dot very simple this is how you can draw a dinosaur <coughs> Hafiza did you finish drawing Show it to me baby Very easy and nice dinosaur here
children once you are done show it to me once krithik show me your dinosaur you should learn to draw drawing is very important children because drawing will increase your thinking capability your imagination skills will develop if you draw it's not just reading and writing which you always have to do drawing and creative skills are equally important because that will trigger the creative creative part of the child's brain which will which is very important uh, there are different parts of the brain which uh, acts upon different things like for reading writing thinking learning memorizing all these are different parts of a brain which will function so drawing will trigger the creative thinking and imagination skills of a child so drawing is also equally important to ignite the imagine imagination skills of the child so you have to encourage kids to draw as much as possible if you show them some tree you should ask them can you draw the tree they will look at the tree and draw something but the drawing is important because that is where they are keeping something which is there in their brain onto the paper so you have to encourage kids as much as you are encouraging them to write and read you have to encourage them to draw as well drawing doesn't mean that they will be any artist or anything at the end of course we are all writing we are not content creators at the end of the day so that is the reason drawing is a skill that they should learn to um, express or exhibit whatever they are uh, they, they are what is they are thinking about demonstration is very important it can be in any form okay so you should encourage them to keep drawing something or the other thing okay you can ask them to draw as in, you can ask them to draw your family photo you can ask them to draw your house you can ask them to draw some tree you can ask them to draw what not anything because that is that is their imagination skills which they are putting across the paper show me children kichu very good nice super it is livan show me very good teju very good preet did you finish teju show me your drawing ahna show me your drawing Aisha Umar children show me your drawing Nainika very good Nainika Vivan very good Tanushree very good Shreya very good <coughs> Arsh Ahana very good thank you ma'am Jay Lakshmi ma'am <laughs> Livansh very good Razali very good Tanvika very good Pooja very good Shivai very good Miduna very good Siddharth very good lucky very good hanati very good tanvika very good ajilesh very good hamsini very good so children you have to learn to draw so many things if you are drawing something without seeing that means that is imprinted in your brain so why can't you just check how many things got imprinted in your child's brain ask them to draw some grapes apple pencil pen dinosaur cat dog everything it will enhance their creativity and imagination skills because they have to imagine how it looks like and then pen down right so aditya very good dhatri very good shivansh very good swaraj very good sanraj very good siddharth very good hafiza very good rithanya very good ayan very good Noora you are new to my class you can join our class every alternate day ma monday wednesday and friday you can join our class ayan very good manya very good hanvika very good very good children so this is gautam very good this is how you are supposed to draw you have to learn to draw drawing is very important okay children now come on once quickly alphabets identification to the children and also you have to say what Uh, images you can see here in the bottom okay which letter is this nursery pre group students should say it as p lkg ukg students should say it as phonic sound p parrot p pumpkin okay come on start p parrot pumpkin a 
What is this? Aeroplane. Very good. Qu quill. Quarter. One fourth part. Quarter. Quail is a bird. What is this, children? Yahia, tell me what is this? Ishanvi, hi. Manit finished. Okay, children. Srinika also finished. Very good. Tanushri, Maulika, Miduna, Neha, Tilak. Look here. This is rope. Robot. Rocket. Disha, look here. Yes. <coughs> yes. Says. Sahasya, you are new to class. Welcome, baby. Sad. Socks. Signal. In the description box, you have details, madam, how to join my class. T. Television. T. Tortoise. T. Tent. A. Uh, under. A. Uh, up. A. Uh, underwear. V. Vulture. V. Valcano. V. Vet. Is nothing but a veterinary doctor. Wa. Wa. As in watch. Wa. As in watermelon. Vishwant, you finished. Very good. X. As in fox. X. As in wax. X. As in fax. Yeah. As in yo yo. Yeah. As in yolk. Yeah. As in yach. Z. Z. As in zebra. Zoo. O. As in onion. Alina, you are new to class. Welcome, baby. Rohan, Maulika, Anha, Hanvika. Hi to you all. Ritika, Mayra, Alina, Manit, Adina, Shreya. Look here, children, everybody. A oh, as in onion. A oh, as in octopus. A oh, otter. A oh, as in orange. Owl. Can you tell me which letter is this one, children? Shashti, Manit. Manit, tell me which letter is this one? Rayanch, tell me. Maria. N. As in net. N. As in newspaper. Needle. See, I, I, I will show you so, much, so many different uh, um, pictures every day. You may think that what showing pictures and all, but no, the kids should identify the picture and name them out because that increases their vocabulary. They should know newspaper. They should also know the needle. They should also show no net. This increases the vocabulary. They should know as many words as possible by the time they are five years old. No, net, newspaper, needle, no, nest. Nose. Mm. You should know as many words as possible, children. Okay? Means your brain should be filled with more and more information. Mm. Milk. Milk. What is this? Mat. And this is? Mask. Mask. Mmm, as in mango. Mmm, as in monkey. Maria, you, do, you don't like milk? Can you tell me which alphabet is here, children? It's 
as in lemon, as in lamb, as in ladder. Can you point out to the ladder? Children, can you point out to the ladder? Very good. Now, can you point out to the lemon now? Point out to the lemon, children. Very good. Can you point out to the orange here? Orange? No orange. Here you go. Capital L. L says L as in lion, as in leaf. Now, children, can you point out to the lion here? Can you show me where is the lion? Very good. There it is. Which letter is this one? J. J says J, 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 Jam, Jam, Jam and Jig. And this is J. Joker, Jellyfish, Jeep. Children, now can you point out to the jellyfish here? Jellyfish. Very good. Can you point out to the joker? Very good. Which letter is this one, children? Can anybody tell me which alphabet is here? Please hit a like button if you have really liked this session because I see so many parents attending the session. Which letter is this one, children? It's K. K. K says K. 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 Kite. K. K. K key more kangaroo. Can you tell me which fruit is this one, children? It's kiwi. Koala. Koala. Which alphabet is here, children? It is C. C says K, K as in cat, K as in car. Very good. Nishita, you are new to class. Welcome, baby. K as in cap, K as in camel, K as in carrot. Children, now can you point out to the camel here? Can you show me where is the camel? Very good. Here it is, the camel. This is, which letter is this one? It's letter B. B says B, B, B. B, B, ball. B, B, banana. Learn as many words as possible, children, okay? B, B, butterfly. B, B, bus. B, B, burger. Shivansh, look here. Which letter is this one here? It's D. D. D, 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 dog, D, D, duck, D, D, dolphin, D, D, doll, D, D, door. Okay. And come on, children, now tell me which alphabet is here. It's letter F. F says fish, finger. 
Siddharth, your favorite pet is dog. Oh, can you tell me now which alphabet is here? F, f, fire. F, f, fork. F, f, fan. Children, can you tell me which alphabet is here? Thank you so much, madam. I, you, you, can you tell me your child's name? Sherry. Happy to hear from you. Agrima. Thank you so much, ma'am. G, G, guitar. G, G, gate. G, G, goggles. Oh, Samruthi, you are very much interested in my drawing class. Great. I am thinking you don't want to draw and all, and that is the reason I am not giving you any drawing classes. G, G, goat. G, G, gift. Okay. Can you tell me which letter is here? This is letter H. 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 Ha, horse, ha, ha, hen. All right, children. And here, H, H. Ha, ha, ha. Adrit, G for Google, yes, good. Ha, as in hand. Ha, as in house. Ha, as in helicopter. Okay, children. If you have really liked this session, please hit the like button. So, you have to learn all the alphabet and the pictures with respect to the alphabet now for example when i ask you can you tell me a few words which begins with letter m you should be able to recollect and tell me mm, money mat monkey men mm, like that okay the more words you say the more uh, the more vocabulary you will have and it is very important for you kids to learn as many words as possible by the time you are five years old okay children okay so that is the reason don't take this easy this is very very important because this is where you will get so much of vocabulary so many words you will learn right so in preschooling things like this is important drawing is important along with reading and writing okay all right, children, you also should have general knowledge, like I showed it to you already. Now, today we learned about this one. What are these? These are extinct animals. Extinct animals, what are extinct animals? Extinct animals are those animals which are not there anymore now. They are all extinct. Examples of extinct animals are woolly mammoth and dodo bird. And dinosaur is also another extinct animals okay all right children so you should have as much as information as possible with by the time you go to your first class okay all right children if you have really liked the class please hit the like button and here i'm going to tell you a beautiful story to you come on children now everybody fold your hands fold your hands here comes the story now <clears throat> We have beautiful story cards here. Would you like to listen to this story now? Come on, everybody. Look here. Can you guess what is this story about? Children, everybody look here and guess what is this story about? Shreya is eagerly waiting. Kritika, thank you so much. Tosha, very good children. I'm very happy to see you all here. Children, can you look at the picture and tell me something about this picture? What all you can see in this picture? First, you tell me that. We can see a butterfly. We can see two butterflies. We can see some sunflowers here. We can also see some lotus flowers here in the pond. We can also see some roses there yes children we can also see some roses there isn't it and this is a garden here yes now come on one day a butterfly 
one day a butterfly what is the name of this butterfly this butterfly's name is betty 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 was flying around with her mother this is betty betty is flying around with her mother in the garden when she looked down betty saw a garden she said wow this is such a nice garden mommy let's go there what did betty said to her mother mommy betty said mommy this is such a beautiful garden let's go there once okay when you see something on the road wouldn't you tell your mom that mommy here is a supermarket why can't we once get inside you say so right so betty also said to her said to her mom that let's get into a garden then what happened then what happened betty saw a bright yellow color flower what did betty see bright yellow color flower which color flower is this one children vikram you are a new student hi vikram which color oh ho she started singing butterfly song very good so which color flower is this one it's a yellow color flower yellow and bright big and tall which are these flowers what are they called can you tell me what are these flowers called children betty betty's mother said yellow and bright big and tall sunflower very good these are sunflowers my dear they are called sunflowers said the butterfly to betty okay then what happened oh they came down to some other flower can you tell me which color flower is this one over here children there were many red color flowers in the garden betty went to the red flowers and said red red flowers standing up tall which are these flowers what are they called can you tell me what are these red flowers called children sumaya you are new to the class sharada stop playing and listen to the story children betty's mother said red flowers standing up tall are roses very good here these are roses then what did betty see here can you tell me which color flower is here butterfly butterfly we will sing the song wait there are, there were many white color flowers in the garden betty went to the flowers and said smelling lovely white and small which flowers are these what are they called betty's mother said smelling lovely white and small these are mogra we call them yes jasmines are those thin flowers we call the correct proper name is mogra mogra jasmines are thin flowers which has only five petals like this this is called mogra my dear these are called mogra then what happened then betty saw pretty orange and yellow color flowers she asked her mom orange and yellow round like a ball which are these flowers what are they called betty's mom said orange and yellow round like a ball are can you guess the name of this flower children these are marigold very good razali these are called marigold so the flowers in the garden are sunflower roses mogras and marigolds and did you see this children can you tell me which color flower is here then betty saw a pond of beautiful flowers she asked her mother so many flowers i can see in the pond which are these flowers what are they called betty's mom said where is betty here is betty 
here is betty's mom betty's mom said so many flowers in the pond lotus my dear they are called lotus very good and here you go betty here did you see betty betty flew over all the flowers and said there are so many lovely flowers here there are red roses white mogra orange marigold yellow sunflowers and lot pink lotus in the pond i love them all we will come and visit these flowers every day mommy please said betty to the mother butterfly and from that day onwards betty and her mom went to the garden every day they loved all the flowers in the garden okay children this is the story of betty and the butterfly so children now do you all want to sing a song of butterfly yes come on if you have really liked this story please hit a like button and we are going to start a butterfly rhyme now would you like to make a butterfly children come on everybody put your left hand forward put your right hand forward lock your thumb fingers and make a butterfly like this and come on start singing butterfly butterfly how do you fly butterfly butterfly how do you fly so quick so fast in the blue blue sky so quick so fast in the blue blue sky once again shall we sing this butterfly song children if you are a fan of this butterfly song then hit a like button there all right children thank you so much madam come on everybody sing this song along with me put your left hand forward put your right hand forward lock your thumb fingers come on sing butterfly butterfly how do you fly butterfly butterfly how do you fly so quick so fast in the blue blue sky so quick so fast in the blue blue sky this is a betty butterfly and her mom's story do not forget to sing this butterfly song as many times as possible okay children yes come on butterfly butterfly how do you fly butterfly butterfly how do you fly so quick so fast in the blue blue sky so quick so fast in the blue blue sky so this is the song for the butterfly all right children so i'll come live on monday again 4:30 pm all right so meanwhile stay tuned to your channel there are so many other videos you can just go back and learn them all right children if you have really enjoyed the session today please click a like button don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family members okay children so have a nice day bye if you have any doubts regarding your children you can ask me here red balloon song shall we sing okay my red balloon my red balloon flies high flies high flies high flies high flies high flies high i jumped up high to reach the sky but could not reach it why my red balloon my red balloon flies high flies high flies high okay children this is your red balloon song hope you have really enjoyed the today's red balloon and the butterfly rhyme i'll see you in the next session tomorrow till then take care children bye
Bye children, bye to you all.